I'm Janie Khan. I'm 25 years old. I live in Hollywood with Bloopy here. You guys are some good looking guys. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Bloopy. Are we ever gonna find love? Fans online really wanted Bloopy and I to get another shot, so internet, that's very much appreciated. <laughs> Hashtag justice for Bloopy. I've had a couple of wonderful boyfriends in my life, but um, now I need a man who votes. I need a man who has more than one pair of pants. Um, I need a man who has a headboard. The bar is incredibly low. The bar is on the floor. Anything you gotta say, bloops? Oh, that was it. <laughs> Let's do a cheers. Cheers to Bloopy. Cheers to Bloopy. Yes. Cheers, cheers to Bloopy. Bloopy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for coming. Straight out the bottle part of it. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So the name Bloopy just came from her looking like a little bloop, like a little spat of ink or like, you know, a little yeah, yeah. pile of dough or something. My sister Allie just started calling her Bloopy and then it stuck. Well, this would be question important. for you. Yeah. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'd probably go to Amsterdam. Oh, okay. Just to like... Smoke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your perfect day off look like? So I have two rescue horses. So my perfect day is hanging around with my horses, maybe feeding them a watermelon, because I think that that's fun to watch. How's your yeah, cantering? Pretty good, dude. Oh, I'm with oh, it, yeah, I'm with it. Us. Let's see. Yeah. Question, yeah. where are you from? I'm originally from the North Shore of Chicago. I moved here after college to work in the film industry. Awesome. Shocking, I mean, right? Nobody ever does that. Yeah, I work, <laughs> yeah, no, I was the first one here. Yeah. Moved out here, started working for DreamWorks, and oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. You guys know the trolls? You know the trolls? Yes. That was you? Yes. Oh. I did. What about I Trolls really 2? Like yeah, Trolls 2, what? baby. Yeah, so I, uh, Stunky! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like so one time DreamWorks brought a petting zoo onto the lot and there was a donkey and I looked at the donkey and I'm like, you have no idea the cultural significance of you being here. Did the donkey say anything back when you said that? Yeah, the donkey said, I'm making waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making waffles. So what I do is I'm a story and editorial production coordinator. So I support the storyboard artists adding the voices. I help with the records. So you're passionate on what you do? My main passion is representation within uh -huh. children's content. I know sign language, and so for me, like my dream is to like make an animated movie with deaf characters. Oh, I love That's it. Amazing. You know, rapping in sign language. <laughs> Can you flirt in sign language? Flirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like any song like future. What's happening right now? Oh, oh my god! No She's way! Going up the set. What is going on? Really? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I just talk shit about all of you. Nice. And only oh, the man. deaf people who watch this will know. Yeah. Is there gonna be subtitles on this video? Or? <laughs> I would love to know, yeah, what are what are you guys looking for in a relationship? I think more of a genuine connection. Physical attraction is like one thing that mm -hmm. actually draws me in, but if you actually have like a pretty good head on your shoulders, mm -hmm. I think it's actually like pretty huge. So I feel like I'm looking for someone to vibe with. Yeah. Uh, I really need someone who can you know, go out one night and dance to Daddy Yankee Gasolina. Mm -hmm. And then the next night, we stay home and watch the Lego movie. Maybe, uh, I love the Lego movie. Out. Emotional intelligence is a big one for me. Somebody yeah. who's a uh, sense of humor, somebody mm -hmm. who's curious. Emotional intelligence, hot, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sexy. Right, yeah. yeah. I used to be a hopeless romantic, now I'm just hopeless. So I'm oh. looking for someone. <laughs> he says, I'm looking for someone to bring that energy back out. Yeah. I, mean, I think for me, like in a relationship, I definitely want someone that like pushes me out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. um, but then also someone who I can just like hang out with someone mm -hmm. that I can like be best friends with yeah um, it's someone that I know that's down for me and only me totally cool wow got some softies in the room <laughs> I love it Sims. what quality in a man do you most admire and what's one that you won't tolerate um, I won't tolerate uh, stupidity. Well, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone who's funny because I'm hilarious. So I need someone who can like, I can see that. you know what I mean? Like volley off of me. And then I also need yeah. someone who's confident because like, I'm a confident girl. I walk into the room, I give a look, like I know what's up. I need someone who's you like- Can see your blue steel? 
Yeah. Ready? Okay, ready? Here's the face. Okay. What do you think? Who do you want to pick? Boom. Ooh. <laughs> Who do we think is vibing with Jamie? He's definitely vibing with Jamie. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. His eye contact with her is just like... It's immaculate. Yeah. I, I thought she was vibing with you, okay. For I sure. barely talk. I got a couple of looks. Like when there, there's times like someone else asked the question, sometimes mm -hmm. she look over at me. Hundred percent, I saw yeah. that too. Yeah, you would, true. you know, say your piece, and it would go to him, and she'd still be looking at you. I'm yeah. like, yeah, true. I think she, oh. she likes you, man. Yeah, Very Very yeah. I like you, man. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I like <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is there anybody that doesn't think that they're vibing? I should think she's a really cool person, but I can only see her as a friend. Okay. I probably agree with him too. Just more of like a friend. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm not a cat person. Bro, oh, that cat is so cute. Deal breaker. <laughs> okay. yeah, Did she hear that? No more nits. Sorry, man. Oh, there, bro. See you guys. Nick, there, brother. There. One love. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How's it going? Great, how are you? <gasps> it's such an advantage. How are you? Hi, it's so nice to chat. How are you? Doing great. How's your day going? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. bye. <laughs> quite a personality on there. She's quite a personality, yeah. and like, I, I, I'm aware that she looks like a gargoyle. But a cute one. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. How are you? What do you do? Tell me more about yourself. I'm an outside sales engineer because I sell air conditioning. Cool. It's a cool job. I get it. Thanks. <laughs> Most people don't get it. No, so. it is cool. Thank you. Are you teaching yoga? I'm teaching yoga. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I am clumsy at AF. I definitely like need some Zen and yoga in my life. What was the last accident you had? I was like dancing and I fully fell down the stairs and broke my fifth metatarsal. I'm gonna pretend I know what that yeah. is. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm an associate marriage and family therapist. Okay, cool. Start getting my hours so I could be fully licensed. Yeah. And I love it, it's very rewarding. So I have a degree in media arts and animation and okay, I also cool. did sort of the whole film thing. Yeah. I'm a bartender as well mm. for like a side gig. Yeah. And I just quit drinking like two weeks ago. Oh, I'm not much of a drinker and I think that that's been a little challenging in the dating scene because I don't want to spend $15 on a random cocktail that I'm not going to drink. It's very like, oh, well, I mean, I guess I won't go to the bar because there's nothing I'm going to do there. Totally. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody's like, do you want to go out for a drink? And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I kind of want to just smoke weed on my couch. I could also just smoke. Yeah. So. And where do you work? Uh, already self-made. Self-made in uh, orange. I'm uh, one of the strength and conditioning coaches there. Okay, so that's why you have big muscles. <laughs> well, um, I, I say. <laughs> do you think it's bad that I can't do a push up? No. Okay. My average clients mm -hmm. would, like, can't do a pull up or can't do a push up. And honestly, I'd, I'd tell them it's fine. I got a C in gym class in high school. Well, I never went, so that's probably <laughs> why. <laughs> what would you say is important to you and a partner? I think I just want someone who's supportive. Exactly. You know, like I work a challenging job. Yes. Someone you can like come home to and like just like hang out with on the couch. And on, be like, like, yo, these yeah. animated fish just are so crazy. Just be open to them about, yeah, yeah, exactly with what you're going through. Is that your dog on your shirt? This, yeah, so I have a French Bulldog. His name is Butter, <gasps> and that's him on the shirt. Butter! Yeah. So I wanted a dumb name to yell at the dog park. So I yeah. was between Butter, uh -huh. Um, fork mm -hmm. and then Ken because Ken's my dad's name. It's funny like at the vet when they're like Bloopy is Bloopy exactly. here and I'm it's, like yep. It's always so, <laughs> they call it the weirdest name. Yeah. Like, Bloopy's full name is actually Bloopy Doopy Doo. Where does that come from? Long lineage of yeah long yeah. lineages of the Doopy Doos. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so is it important 
for your significant other to be friends with your friends? Oh, 100%. My yeah. friends are the people that I'm with most of the time, so mm -hmm. if my friends accept you, I think we're all gonna get along. Oh, the yeah. second we bring anyone into the group, we'll analyze and make sure they're a good match, and if they think it's a bad match, you're gonna hear immediately. Same with mine. It's very Same important. With mine. Yeah, great. Same That's how it needs to be. You gotta look out for each other. Bloopy will let me know what she thinks <laughs> right away. Animals can <laughs> see through people for sure, yes. Is it important for you, for your significant other, to get along with your friends? Yeah. Um, so Do you have any friends? I didn't come here to get roasted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Going to the next shoot to get roasted. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's really important having a significant other that not only gets along with my friends, but also likes being with them. Totally. How much time do you have right now to devote to a relationship? Right now, for a relationship? Um, yeah, at this exact moment. Right now, 100%. Um, <laughs> I'm going to devote all my time to her, mm -hmm. uh, just because, you know, that's my person. That's who I want to mm -hmm. see at the end of the day. After a long day of work, mm -hmm. it's like, all right, let's go watch a movie or sit totally. on the couch, smoke some weed or something. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that's the best. Do you consider yourself to be a vulnerable person? With the correct people, yeah. I think it's very important, particularly men, being mm -hmm. vulnerable. I feel like sometimes I kind of like give myself so much to someone mm -hmm. that I end up getting hurt. When I first meet people, I'm telling them all my trauma, all my no, secrets, literally. like, and I tell them that right away. No, literally, I'll, I'll, like, I'll like meet someone at the bar and like be like trauma bonding with them, yeah. like instantly. No, yeah. I feel that. I think my method of protecting myself is telling people my vulnerable, my yeah. things that I'm vulnerable about first. Yes. So then I can be like, did you bad an eye? Yeah. What'd you think? It's tricky to balance, right? Because you want to be that outgoing person, but like mm -hmm. I said, you want to protect yourself. We can have a podcast about we yeah, we should have a fun totally. vulnerability podcast. <laughs> I feel like I would tell you my secrets within 10 minutes of us talking. I'd notice that and like you'll probably like, I'll probably let my guard down and like I'll tell you something too. Totally. It just, it, it, I like to describe it as like buttering me up, you know, you got mm -hmm. to. I can't just like blah, 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 you know, mm -hmm. I'm a shy guy. Well, you don't seem very shy. Yeah, I'm not shy. Is, you are making yeah, me Yeah, you have a great jacket. I appreciate You have a great smile. Oh my God, thank you. You know, and I bet you have your clients being vulnerable with you all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like in person yeah. training, you have to be a therapist to a certain degree. Totally. Because I am not confident in my ability to lift weights, to pretty much do anything physical, it's a very vulnerable experience. So it's good to hear that you create a safe environment for your people to excel in. You know? Yeah, no, it, uh, it's super important. You only have like one life to live. So yeah. you might as well make the most out of it. 100%. Oh my gosh, Pleasure. bye. It was so nice to chat. I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk soon. I'll hug I'll you. Hug oh my god, yes. <laughs> Boy. Well, yes, I agree. I, mean, definitely. Yes. I feel like she like instantly like had a connection with him about like vulnerability. She thought it was really cool that he's like a trainer, right? Like he could like help her step out of that comfort zone and like help her push her boundaries. That's sort of the vibe I was getting. You feel Both like it was just gonna say yeah, butter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, butter was. Yeah, butter, so butter got her heart. The secret weapon, yeah. 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 Also, our man right here was the only one that got the hug. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Oh, 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 what is she gonna do? Not hug him? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Don't be like, no, it's just gotta be one of them for sure. Agree. All right then. No, I think a date would be a lot of fun. She seems like a girl that you could take to a Dave and Buster's eat and play combo. So, nice genius. I know. So specific. I like to crack jokes as much as possible. She definitely gives out those kind of vibes, yeah. So I, I think it'd be actually like a lot of fun, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I trust yeah. these men with my life. 100%. Oh, all right. Maybe not that far. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very hard choice, and it's so funny because I feel like I've never had to choose between boys in my whole life. Okay. Locked in, it's written in Sharpie. Your guys have picked one contestant that they think should go on a date with you. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I'm good. I'm very hungry as of right now. So, but uh, honestly, but I'm feeling good though. So we have an envelope. Dun dun dun. The first card is going to be the three people you were connecting with the most at the end of the first round. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Aiden. Oh, hey. Tanner. Hey. And David. Oh. <laughs> So this is the person that came to first off at the end of both rounds. Okay, you ready? 
I picked Tanner. <gasps> I told you butter. <laughs> Two good looking guys right here. Yeah, there we are. Mm. Is it the dog? It was the dog. It was the dog. It was, it was dog. butter. Butter did it again for me. Butter did it for you. Yeah. It was kind of cool being chosen, so. Looking forward to whatever <laughs> happens after, so. Of course. I'll go on a date with every guy who showed up here tonight. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. One, two. I'm feeling awesome. This was a lot of fun. I feel like I normally give comedic sidekick energy. So it was really nice to be the romantic lead. Definitely wasn't used to that. I think it's given me a good confidence boost. DC is so awesome and I had a great time chatting with him. I was a little surprised, but he's awesome though. Yeah, Tanner's totally gonna have to buy me dinner. Yeah, I would love to. Talk about Dave and Buster's eating play combo, so always down for that. And we're gonna have long talks about air conditioning. I feel great right now. I think Butter would get along with Bloopy very well. We might have found a dad for Bloopy. <laughs> Even though she's angry now. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, yeah, we should see Bloopy 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 Let's see Bloopy picks. Let's see Bloopy picks. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, Bloopy. I'm thirsty. Uh, you know, thirsty for what? Oh. 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 Oh.